Hello everybody and welcome back to Gamers Club. My name is Omni. We are continuing Final Fantasy XV. Now, wow, it is hot. It is really hot in my room. Oh, the window is open. It's night time. And it's hot. Like it's really hot. Anyways, we are going to see Cindy to deliver the tires and get this all over and done with. So, um, earlier in the last episode, we explored a dungeon and got uh, Dino, a gigantic geo, an emerald, and he gave us an emerald bracelet in return. Oh. I almost forgot. By entering that dungeon, oh Jesus Christ, it, it took a lot away f out of me. It, it was, let's just say, I used up all my elixirs. And now I need to restock on all of them. We've reached oh, shit. Creature crossing. Wow. Where do you think they're all going? We could always follow him and find out. Interesting. Um, yeah. I don't know what happened. So once we get on to uh, complete this little thing, we're going to just go into the main quest. Because we stalled long, long enough. We're going to complete some things here and there, just uh, just to get them out of the way, but I want to be recording when I'm completing them because I don't know if it'll have an effect, a small effect, or no effect at all. So I want to be able to record that and keep that in. Like there was a part where I was still exploring the dungeon, that dungeon in the castle, and I was trying to find a way to further my further explore the place. I was like, this is taking way too long. You know what? Screw it. And I didn't record. Thank God for my capture, I'm able to go back in time and record everything before that. And I did. I've ha I record. I had the. I had the fight with the Jabberwocky, and I was able to record it. Well, yeah, we gotta also go report back to Sid because now he has a new, he has an upgraded weapon for us. Nice. And Talca, mm, pretty much everybody else has a side quest up there. Gladius's cup of noodles is up there too. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. But whatever the case, let's find out. Let's fast forward. Well, we move to the fights. Thanks, y'all. You boys must be fade after lugging those things all the way back here. On the bright side, now y'all can kick back while I fix her up. Just say the word and I'll get to work. Oh yeah, the tires are as big as Noctis himself. I'll be fine. Besides, Papa gave me some advice. Sort of. He said, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't mess up. I reckon that was his way of telling me I'm on my own. <laughs> well, far be it for me to defy Sid's advice. That's probably for the best. Anywho, y'all just sit tight. Time for me to work my magic. Let's see what you can do. So, Gravy. Does my car go off-road now? Uh, remodeling the Regalia into Type D takes your adventure off-road. Nice. And you also got another side quest. Howdy, Prince. How are y'all liking your new ride? Gotta say, it's pretty cool. I didn't even drive it. Well, ain't that grand. Nothing makes me happier than seeing a satisfied customer. Truth is, though, the old girl's got a lot more power under the hood than she's using right now. With a few adjustments, I could get her real souped up. For what? What kind of adjustments are we talking about? Can't say just yet. Every car's got a different set of needs. So the only way to know for sure is to take them for a test drive or two. Right now, we've got the regalia running at a steady purr. 
but we're gonna need to push her to the limit if we want to find out how to really make her roar. A little more work and she'll be the cat's meow. Your goggles just glitched so, out. What do you think? I can get a test track ready in a jiffy. All you need to do is get behind the wheel and take the old girl for a spin. Leave it to me. We'll do that some other time though. Kings of the off-road. Yeah. We'll do that later. Later. But now since the regalia for this test drive? We're gonna ace it. Well, there's no doubt in my mind the car will pass the test. But I don't know if I can say the same for the driver. If past experiences are <laughs> any indication, he's failed before he's even begun. Wow. Hey, thanks, guys. Really appreciate the vote of confidence. Let's change the regalia to type D, yes. Let's do that. And let's continue on to the main mission. Well, here she is. What do you think? Jesus freaking Christ. Nice. I'm pretty sure. Released. Uh, is equipped with off road compatibilities. Press circle when the green indicators keep your eye on the gas. I'm still going here. A brave new world. It's time to progress in a game I should have done long ago by now. And recorded it, but I stalled too much and caused lots of pain from all side quests. I can compatibly accept, and when I try to do them, they're 99 in level skill that I do not possess. Now, how is that? I think I did pretty good with that because pretty much of all of it is true. I can't do shit. If I wanted to, if I could, I would just keep the whole thing recorded. But it would be stupid and boring and none of you want to sit sit around with that unless it was games that every that meant Every step you took meant something. Example, um, the new God of War that came out. Every step you took meant something. And it was... Um, it was something that you could not avoid. It was something that you would rather watch. And also you would want to see it in long periods of time. Like chapters. Almost. Can I read that? Ah, there we go. Did nothing, though. Because, right, everybody would rather watch them in long periods. I did. I liked it when Jacksepticeye uh, did it in two hour intervals. Hey, what's up, not, uh, Prompto? Let's get a shot with the lighthouse. Hair blowing in the breeze. We'll be seized eyed supermodels. Ooh, sure. Seaside supermodels it is, then. Oh, yeah! Seaside supermodels! Right. But before that, I... I got two other things I need to do. But they're probably not gonna be... Really, um... You know... Effective. Matter. How you doing, Talcott? Good, Prince Noctis. <laughs> What's that there? Oh, this thing? It's a cactuar figurine. I really like cactuars. 
Oh. You can buy them in different places and in different colors. I want to finish the clutches, but I still need a yellow one and a blue one. I guess you wouldn't have seen them at any shops, have you? No. Oh, sorry, no. I never paid attention to them before. Oh, well, of course you wouldn't. But I will from now on. If I see the colors you're missing, I'll grab them for you. Multiple side quests have been a great. Really? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think I got. Yeah, I bought one. I bought the blue one. And I guess the yellow one. Uh, the cactulets. Hey, uh, I managed. To the goods. I got. I I didn't know I had both already. Really? Whoa! Yes! I got them all now. Thank you so much, Prince Noctis. <laughs> I didn't know I got the yellow one. I knew I had the blue one. I didn't know I bought the yellow one anywhere, cause the blue one was in um Lestalem. Oh well. That was quick. And now there's a stray cat over here. Somewhere. And this one's a picky eater too. Wherever it may be. There it is. But we gotta go to the lighthouse too. Because Sid's got a couple of uh, weapons he can upgrade. And he's got one to give. Here she is. Your weapon reborn. Benji, a better engine blade. Gotta say, that's a right old piece you managed to find. Must have been 30 odd years ago when they was in service over in Crown City. Finding the right tools for these relics took it out of me. Sorry to hear. Ah, but while I was rummaging through my stuff, an interesting item turned up. Go on, take it. What is it? What is it? A little something I'd loan to your old man during our trip way back when. Reggie loved it so much he'd find every chance he could to help me out with it. But when it came time for him to give it back, he scratched some nonsense into it. Nonsense? Whoa. It always irked me, so it's fitting I dump it on the sun. like <laughs> you got a hammer. Sid's old hammer. story to go with it. Not a bad deal if you ask me. An unexpected side of his majesty. Yeah. It is. Interesting. Hand over... Yeah. Uh, what if I said no? And over, yes, I want the auto crossbow made. So I want, uh, quests, gear. Unfortunately, Prompto, you're gonna have to fork over that auto crossbow. Ooh, I didn't know I could do that. That's pretty cool. Uh, remove. I'm gonna give you the circular saw at the moment. Uh, nope. Best part of all this? Yes. Uh, Could I hand them over all of them? Or do I have to do one by one? If y'all are having car trouble, uh, y'all brace yourself for power. Nope, I gotta do it one by one. Anyways. Cat. I figured out also what, um, hey. now I can finally pick that thing up. I figured out what that cat food was for. Hey, you're the cat we saw in Galden. Oh, the lost ship brought you a long way from home, little guy. You must be hungry after all that walking. No restaurants around, though. A thing or two about cat food. Why don't you try asking Monica? She mentioned having kept several cats back home. Wow, and she never gave off a crazy cat lady vibe. I hope we don't have to go all the way back to Galton. Especially after the cat came all the way to Kayam. The drone here, anyway. His dear friend knocked, of course. <laughs> well, I have some cat food. For every last morsel, buddy. That cat food there cost us a fortune. Yeah, it did. It was 20 grand. <laughs> you really got a soft spot for animals, don't you? They bring out 
something nicer locked. Could try being nicer to us. Could, but I won't. <gasps> it had the sky gemstone! I love this cat. I didn't... I didn't know it gave that reward. Awesome! Now I got a sky gemstone! I can upgrade everything! Also, uh, gear. Not this. Where's that Ultima Blade? Uh. Wow! That's a powerful blade! Uh, the ultimate sword crafted in the. In Simonian technology, it absorbs elemental powers of defeated foes. Right, I'm gonna replace it. And it only gets like what? The... It's not really great, but it's powerful. So I'll keep hold on to it. I'll keep a hold on it. And then everything else, hopefully, I'll get like a better drain lance. Um, I don't got any daggers to upgrade. A better circular saw. Auto crossbow at the moment. And yada yada yada. But cool. I got a cool new sword. I can't change and see it for myself. Oh well. Uh, the perfect cup of noodles. Oh, we gotta get the lobster. The giant freaking lobster. For food! Blow him up! Alright, impulse! Whoa! What are we waiting for? Let's get to camp and get cooking. Woo! That was cool. That was cool. Alright. I'm all sticky and gross. Let's make this perfect cup of noodles. Three days eclipsed. Yeah, I still haven't taken a rest. This is right after I got out of the dungeon. I've been stuck down there for three days. Hmm. Cup noodles. Let's make it. That's the only thing we came in. I wonder how Ignis would feel. He's like... I just cooked the most simplest thing I've ever seen. This is an outrage. I cook culinary dishes. <laughs> not, not cup noodles. Cup noodles are great. I'm actually going to have some noodles. Oh, see, that's the Jabberwocky. Yeah, how is she? You know something? Going through all that trouble to make our own custom cup made me appreciate cup noodles even more. Perhaps we truly can't improve upon perfection. It's not about finding the single best ingredient. It's about crafting that perfect blend of meat, egg, and shrimp. That harmony of flavors is key. Yeah, you're right. Makes you appreciate how delicious these noodles really are. I know I sure do. What was with that accent? That sounded weird. I got 4K out of it. And new cup noodle recipe, I guess. Look at that. Thumbnail. Oh, look. She's in there, too. Iris. Oh, once you depart, you lose access to the open world for a while. And rental chocobos will automatically return to the post. Set sail. For Altisha. Yes. Let us go, finally, to Altisha. The long awaited departure. Let's go.
two all Dougie How'd you get here? Also, isn't um isn't Lady Luna Freya in Altitia? How's the dog getting here if she's in Altitia? Waiting for you in Altitia. Yeah. Getting ready to set sail. How does the dog get there? crossbow for a while prompto but don't worry I think you'll you'll survive Woo! an item already Marshall really well I'll be back Iris Ooh, cosmetology, or whatever. Cosmonology, cosmonology, halogology, blah 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 blah. Ology. Where's the, uh, where's the marshal? I don't see no marshal. Marshal. Something I gotta get off my chest. What's that? There he is. I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for you, Father. I swore an oath to protect the cure, but I wasn't strong enough to hold it. Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. You need to realize just what you need to the boys by your side. I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts not to hell. <laughs> Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Sid knows all too well. You can never have too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. Oh, nice. I got more magic flasks. Just remember, it's a destructive force that doesn't discriminate. I suggest putting someone in charge of it. Yeah. I really don't like using magic because it really doesn't benefit too much. I'd rather you just... Oh god, how am I gonna... Waiting for an invitation? Get your asses on board! I'm working on it, Sid. Give me a second. Come on. Hey! Your Majesty! What's up? What's up? Okay. It's not coming back. Run for it. Run for it. Well, well, well. All tissue, huh? Hmm, I wonder how it will be. I wonder what ingredients will be there. I wonder if I can eat. Awesome food. Anyways. Level up. Alright. Well. Cup noodles. Cup noodles. Cup noodles. That was a keeper. That's a keeper. That is a keeper. 
and we set sail for Otisha. Uh, Chapter 9 Callings Noctis receives a warm send-off as he sets sails for Altitia in high spirits. The prince goes forth um, to sensibly to speak the blessings of the Hydraeum. I don't know if I even pronounce that right. Which will enable him to, cha uh, to challenge the Empire's might. But his true heart desires is to find Luna Freya. His bet betrol head? What? What is that word? I don't know what that word means. Anyway, Altisha. Here we come, Altisha. Here we come. Still can't trust them. No. That obstinate secretary standing in the way while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. We can't trust him. He's planning something. Very sinister. Ooh. You know. I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not nice. many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? The serpent to set to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We will have to see for ourselves. The puns. Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed, her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Lunafrey is in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm. I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafrey came to have the ring? No so idea. Most likely, His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravus. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenemrai suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Uh, it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about Lord Ravus has taken to brandish his majesty's sword. I doubt it. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet 
doesn't wield it. Hmm. For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog. Holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. Damn. It might help if we knew what he was after. Insane. What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They felled a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. And they'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. <laughs> Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. It feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. I just have a question. If not your type. Did the Titan die? If that's the case, was the Titan killed? When he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes. But it's always preferable to the alternative. So, Interesting. And true. Soon, you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line. Ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I, I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Nice. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, but... And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. You must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah. Only done been the once. Stayed a good while. What's it like? Big old city. <laughs> Big. Okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. <laughs> but it's a city. Got it. We'll see for yourself. Foreign land seldom so as to try to explanations. Change of scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far in Waltisha now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Logic's all fast over business. All work and no play? Makes it a dull moment. Someone has to be able to see you too. Uh, I got that reference. The Shining. Please, no one turn into a murderer in this place. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah, runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Is it the Kenny Crow Diner? McGee or Magoo? Uh, Mago, that's the one. Nice. Mago. You can count on Old West. <laughs> He'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Uh oh. gonna give a speech sounds like it lord knows this world could use some wisdom won't be much longer now no. yeah. but isn't that a bad thing that um 
Whoa. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Anyways, um, wouldn't it be a bad thing for Lady Lunafreya to come out in the open? Especially... Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Things in order. You may pass. How'd you get on the boat? Gain entry to Orkodo. Prepare the new box. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. <laughs> That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. Well, this is gonna get very interesting. I wonder what will happen. What do I what do I need to do here? Whatever the case is, we're going to find out. I forgot what I was go also going to say. Jesus, that's a big city. Ah. Phew. Finally back on land. No, barely. They called it the walls of water. But it ain't just the walls. <laughs> Which is why we can't traverse the town by conventional means. We'll need to rely on gondolas instead. Yay! More boats. Hey, not this. Catch. What is it? Key to the boat. What? Don't you want to go sailing again? Are you sure? Why not? Old girl ought to be sturdy enough. Not even an awful driver like Reggie could sink her. <laughs> A king can't rule with wisdom alone. He needs perspective. So get out there and see the world, you hear? Nice. So now we get to drive a boat around. That sounds like freaking fun. Sid has given you the keys to the royal vessel, but you are not able to go sailing at this time. Great. So I guess Sid can also give back, uh, give me... The weapons. Cool. And I assume. Yep. Although Sydney has the six really because we're all over with abilities. Uh, the car is yet to reach full. Oh, yeah, that's the case. Blah, 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 blah. This. Okay. This. I gotta get berries. Uh, what was they called? Uh, not the touched by the sweet gesture. I do not know what this one wants, and I know we gotta do this. But we're gonna continue on this one. Go! I made it. Welcome to Okoto, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. What's Gamarma? Oh, there you are. My word, you grow little tricks. <laughs> ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. Yes, I was. Based on the government's actions, it would seem Cordo was supporting. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Cool. And we get a picture it's and progress. Like Just wonder how he ended up here. I don't know. Maybe to get away from uh, get this shot. crap. Maybe you liked it there. Let's save it. The gang's all here, see? Us? All right. So West Cam. Visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, oh you wary. I understand. Well, there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. Okay. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. 
And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. All right, let's ask about the Oracle. You really think Luna will make an address? <laughs> So she's here in the city. Conspicuous in its silence on the somewhere else. Which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. Okay. So let's ask about Leviathan. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. Tide In Mother? Preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydra will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? No idea. Ask about the Empire. You see lots of nifs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. <laughs> Ravis. So soon after they fell the Archean at Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altitia. The Empire is not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. Camellia? I've heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. She don't sound that good. Okay. Uh, welcome to my... Blah, 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 blah. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do... Apparently, Let's grab a bite. I'm surrounded. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. And? First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucifer. You bastard. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. You been. She can be oblique at the best of times. But I assure you, her heart is in the right place. She just oh. is holding her hostage then for... You must be weary from your journey. But might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. And I think I'll end it there, because this is dragging on really long. <sighs> Remember, your heart is yours to follow. Just see to it that you should you have been. Yep, yep, but uh, I, I want to... There's two things. One, there's a book here, which I want to read, and it's a shop. I want to eat. Can I eat? Thank you. Well, look who it is. Well, then. Let's get the know of the city. Quest destinations. Okay, cool. Oh, the curse of the canvas. Okay. Let's get some more information. The new outposts. Places. No information. Let's eat. Jesus!
Greatly boosts all stats and increases EXP by 50. Wood smoked fish. Ah, uh, I'll go for that. Wood smoked fish, please. Just a moment, then, lads. Toad proof. Frost proof. Poof. I dare say I can make this a camp. I say I can make this a camp. Sea bass fillet and whatever the hell that was. A tree trunk. I don't know. And there seems Before to be quests you, here. This won't be a test of luck, Ooh. but of skill. I can do that. That ought to tide you over for a bit. Oh. The hexy eyes. Excellent choice. Yes, it is. In your hands now, lads. That ought to tide you over for a bit. Hmm, a lost painting. Interesting. This is what I need. Alright, well, let's find a place to sleep. So, care to take a cruise? Uh, map. Can I sleep anywhere? There's an inn right over there. What, what, what? I need to go here. Skip. I'm sure it has. Let's go to Schlepp. Ah! All interesting. Where are we off to? How about a ride along on the gondola? Let's go to sleep. Please don't be expensive. What? Oh! Ahead lies a future uncertain. Yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. Gentiana. Uh, through Umbra's power, you can now revisit past memories. Summon... Um, uh, you can summon him at rest at lodgings. Characters can retain current level and abilities. Uh, re Chocobos will return to the post. You can now set sail to open seas. Messenger's amulet. Ah. Interesting. Gentiana. Interesting. But we're going Please. to. Thank God. It's not expensive. Let's call it a day. Soft beds, baby. Alright, so I'm going to call this episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here. Leave a like if you did. And. Now remember that game is a with home for all games to all games, so don't be afraid to recommend any game to Thank you, and have a great and a wonderful day. I'll see you all in the next episode. Later.